Welcome, this video is going to assist you in making scaled floor plan in Adobe Illustrator, such as the design on the screen at the moment. A floor plan, as shown on the left hand side of the screen, is essentially a top down or plan view of a building that is sectionally or horizontally cut approximately one metre from the ground. This is noticeable in the design on the right, where the roof and upper portions of the walls have been removed. This is done to expose the interior layout and the overall dimensions of the building which is shown on the left hand design. Floor plans are used by designers, um, engineers for, and especially for getting council or government uh, department approval along with the different trades personnel during the design and construction stage. As you can see, we can see there's a lot more complex floor plan here and a floor plan is presented for each uh, level, so ground level, level one, so on and so forth. Uh, technical drawings need to adhere to certain technical drawing standards and conventions to meet the state government uh, building regulations, along as so various trades personnel can interpret. As you can imagine, uh, builders, electricians, plumbers, um, different project managers all need to be able to understand the overall design to work out where different features or building features need to be placed. We're going to be adhering to the technical drawing standards stated by VCAR, which can be sourced from the VCAR website and also in this video description. And so they're going through and using them for site plans, floor plans, maybe even a room sort of floor plan. And there's quite specific information regarding line types and thicknesses, along with dimensionings and architectural symbols. So please be referring to this. You should have gone through and created a graph paper floor plan, which I've gone through and presented here. And this should be adhering to that one to 50 scale, meaning any detail that's one centimeter in length is 50 centimeters in real life. Now what we're gonna go through and do is create our own floor plan and you wanna go through and open this document here. Uh, this will also be in the video description. So it's the architecture uh, industrial, uh, sorry, environmental design template. And in looking at it, I'm just zooming in with control plus and panning with the space bar. We have those architectural symbols and they're already drawn at one to 50. We have a little bit of information regarding how to go through and dimension, noticing it is upon those three lines, not the one line like an orthogonal. And this is where we wanna be drawing our floor plan. I'm just gonna use that other file um, just so I can easily navigate it uh, through that. Completing the title block and also dimensionings. And then we'll proceed on to elevations and getting out a site plan and getting ready for laser cutting as well. The workspace that I'm gonna be working in is under window and then workspace essentials classic. Often you might have essentials selected and you notice there's a little bit limited with the buttons. So if it's not appearing, your screen's not appearing the same as mine, just go and make it so that's essentials classic. What we wanna go through and do first of all is um, import our scan draft uh, floor plan. So going up to file, then place, sourcing the image and placing it and be positioning it so the actual design is centered upon that artboard. Then what I like to do is just lock that. So you can notice I cannot be selecting that at the moment. So have that image selected, then go to objects and then lock and it'll be lock selection. Otherwise I'll have to unlock both of them. Um, your overall floor plan here, you wanna be really just looking at understanding the function of this structure, uh, the various spaces and rooms that are needed and how it's gonna be best to navigate that building. Designs are typically drawn at a scale of one to 50, which is what we're gonna be doing for especially a smaller space, one to 100 for probably a regular size um, 
house or building, uh, a larger building at one to 200, or even a site plan at one to 200. And so this is depending upon the size of the structure. Note that the dimensions are displayed as the true dimensions, and it's only the structure that is scaled, so it fits on the specified piece of paper, in this case being A3. But sometimes floor plans will be all the way up to AO, especially a larger building. Thanks for watching. The next video will look at introducing the exterior and interior walls.